All right, this is Jay Scott coming to you, and I want to discuss a little software called Batch Purifier Lite. Now, uh, for those who use the image scrambler that's provided to us in DS Domination, um, there's one inherent problem with the software, and that's the fact that you can only do one image at a time, and it gets kind of um, time-consuming when you're when you have multiple images. Let's say a listing you're doing. 9, 10, 11, you know, photos for it, it's going to take, you know, a bit of time to go through individually and do each single image um, in, the order, in the order on the, uh, through the actual software. So what we have here is a piece of software called Batch Purifier Lite. Now, the Lite version, there's a paid version that allows you to do uh, PNG files and all the various other ones, but, but for the most part, all we're going to be using is JPEG, so uh, there shouldn't be an issue with the free Lite version. And what this software does is it allows you to scramble, as they say on DS Domination, which scrambling is all it's doing is removing the metadata. And metadata is data that you can't see but it is laced within the digital signature of the photos and it tells where the photo came from how it originated um, things like that and this is how uh, places like ebay can tell where your picture came from they read the metadata and then that's how people uh, listings get removed for using uh, image with image violations so all these images are are stock manufacturer images. It's not like uh, Amazon takes these images on their own or any of these other places because if you go into any of the big manufacturers like uh, I mean big retailers like Target, Kmart uh, or any of the other places, Walmart, they all use the same images throughout the internet. So who has the copyright? That's the question. Nobody does because they're they're just manufacturer images that come from the source and anyone's allowed to use them. It's just that they have their signature in the images on their site. So you have to remove that. That being said, you just download this tool and it'll click to download it right there. It's, it's really simple. Um, and you install the software. I already have it installed on my computer and I actually have the paid version so I can do any kind of files. but. All you do is, um, I mean, it's literally drag and drop. So you bring this software up, you drag your pictures into here, or you can click add files, or you can you can drag, a, you can add an entire folder to it. Um, and just to give you an example, let me grab a picture real quick. Okay, so I'm going to drag a picture in there, and this picture will show where the picture is located, things like that, and what type of file it is. And literally all you do is click next. And if you have the free version, all of these won't be checked. It would just be this one for JPEG, which is all that you need, honestly. And you hit next again. And I always write, overwrite the original files. That way you don't have duplicate files overwrite the originals, bam, it's done. I mean, honestly, you could have, I've done it with 30 pictures in here and it's, it's like two seconds and it does every single one of them really quick. If you want to start over and do another one, you hit new batch and you can drag and drop again or you just close it out. So this is a really good software. I use it for not only cleaning pictures for eBay, but I also use it for cleaning my pictures that I put on Craigslist. This is a um, really not highly known, you know, thing is that uh, Craigslist also reads the metadata in pictures and they can see when pictures have been posted multiple times on Craigslist. So when, when you're making your ads on Craigslist, don't use the same photo without cleaning it the next time you upload it because they can read the photos in there so that's just a quick little tip in regards to craigslist 
and you know any other site that, that we have issues with in, in regards to images um, it's, it's probably the metadata and they're seeing duplicates of that same picture and that's why they they can remove them so um, again this is Chase Scott and this is Batch Purifier Light um, you can just do a search for it on Google and it'll come right up thanks bye